former video editor for a tech channel that toured my studio. Wow, that really narrows it down. I don't know who you are, though. I, I'm sorry. Uh, what protections do you have in place for your staff? Would you support a unionization of stash slash camera crew under YouTube creators? Is YouTube creators a thing? I think he means like, I don't know. Interesting. I'm not super up on. Is um, it a thing? So I've I've made it very clear in the oh, past. Oh, is this the the? Ah, uh, yeah, I've heard of this. I've made it very clear Sport in the past that I feel that if our staff felt like they needed a union, I would consider that. And Yvonne too, we would both consider it personal failures. Here in Canada, there's absolutely nothing that we'd be able to do to prevent it, legally speaking. So if they decided that they wanted to approach their engagement with their employer that way, that's there's, there's absolutely nothing that we could do to challenge them on it. Uh, it's actually sort of baffling to me that it is possible to have such blatant, like just brazen anti-organizing policies in place in our neighbors to the south. I, I don't get it. Um, what protections do you have in place for your staff? I mean, really... What does that mean? Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, we we have like a dental plan. I, I I'm I'm not really a hundred percent sure what you're asking. There's a lot of legal protections for employees just in general in Canada. Like it's, I my wife and I joke sometimes. It's easier to get a divorce than to fire an employee. Like it's it's actually very difficult. So I don't really feel like they need additional protections. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, I know that in the States, particularly in states where they have at-will employment, it's a totally different story. There's basically no protection whatsoever. You can just dismiss someone for any reason at any time, and they're entitled to, like, nothing. Yeah, it's not true. Uh, but that is not the case up here at all. Yeah. Um, Obvious Lobster says probably, like, an anonymous report line for HR. So we do have a third-party HR firm. Um we do have, if anyone ever had a problem with me, they could take it up with Yvonne and we do take that anonymity and we do take that privacy very seriously. If they have an issue that is so big that they can't trust either of us with it, frankly, we've failed them anyway. Um, I, 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 I don't know what we could possibly do to resolve it. Uh, I think that overall, we try to do a really good job of addressing people's concerns and... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, Laddie says, the thing is, every bad boss in the world says you don't need a union. I'm a good boss. The reality is sometimes your interests will not align with your staff and relying on you being a good guy is them taking a risk. Being in a union doesn't change anything. If you're a good enough boss, the union never be needs to be involved. Um, that's one way of looking at it. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to see eye to eye with you on that. I agree that a lot of bad employers probably would say you don't need a union but in our case and have yeah we are and actively do yeah we're we're constantly trying to figure out how to make lmg a better place to work that's not going to change so there you go and i think there's been constant improvements over the years um well i should hope so i mean in the early days it was no it was not great <laughs> We're, we're always trying. <laughs> we worked out of a garage. We were a scrappy company. I literally lived in his house. It's okay. D Dusty, <laughs> yeah. You had you had both uh, tenant rights and employee rights. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I had it good. I'm pretty sure we violated all of them. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> but he did get meals included. Dude, good ones, too. 